All right, section 1.7, ordering fractions and decimals. Oh, look at this, fraction song. We already know this, but this is going to help us out with this section. I'm not going to sing it for you because we already sing it enough in class, but I'm sure we'll be singing it again. A fraction is a division, so you don't have to make a decision, and so on and so on and so on. So one of the things that we're going to be doing in this section is changing a fraction to a decimal. And again, a fraction is a division, so you take your numerator and you divide by your denominator. So 20 doesn't go into 7. So I have to, I know it's, if I just look at this proper fraction, 7 out of 20, I know it's going to be less than 1. Ten, add another zero, and I get five. And five times twenty is a hundred, and you are done at the terminating decimal. So I could say that seven twentieths is equal to zero point three or thirty five hundredths. The next one is a mixed number of three and five eighths. A couple of different ways you could do this. You could take the 3 and put that off to the side and just deal with the decimal of 5 eighths. I'm going to go ahead and show you to um, remind us how we change a mixed number to a fraction um, and use this mad face because that's going to help us when we add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So here we go. I'm going to make my mad face and I'm going to multiply and I'm going to add. Again, tilt your head to the left. Hopefully that helps you see the mad face a little bit better. 8 times 3 is 24. 24 times, or sorry, 24 plus 5 is 29 over 8. Now, again, a fraction is a division. It is an extra step, but you'll thank me getting into that habit when we add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. So here we go. 29 divided by 8. I know it goes in 3 times. I'm going to add my decimal. So it's going to go 24, 5. 8 goes into 50 six times. So 6 is 48. Add another 0. 8 goes into 22 times. And 16, and I'm running out of room. 4, I'm going to have to add another 0. So it goes into 45 times. It's going to erase that up there, so it's got a little bit more space. So I can say that 3 and 5 eighths is equivalent, is equal to 3 and 625 thousandths, or 0.625. That's how we're used to saying it. I'll show you a little bit later on in this lesson how we would say that properly. Now, I know you know these definitions, so go ahead and write this down because this is something that we talked about at the beginning. Again, remember to pause the screen so um, you can write it down and then you can listen. So, terminating decimal. It's when a division problem results in a remainder of zero. So, we've been practicing that. 1 divided by 2, you're going to get this terminating decimal of 0 0.5, or 5 tenths. A repeating decimal is when one or more digits repeat without end. Now, this go, this end part, that's really infinity, which never really ends. And we're not going to just waste our time writing out the repeating decimals. And so one of the ways, because remember, mathematicians want to be efficient, so one of the ways that they solve that problem of having to keep going on and showing all that work is they use this little bar notation and this just um, tells people it describes that it's going to keep repeating so if I want it to I could write this at 0 0.3 3 3 3 3 okay but again we have other things to do so you're gonna write it like that alright so let's go ahead and write this one write fractions as repeating decimals so I know it, this is an improper fraction, so it has to be greater than 1. So 5 divided by 3, so it goes in once, is 2. Now again, we're not going to write it as a mixed number, which would be 1 and 2 thirds. I'm going to add a 0. Again, we've been practicing this. 3 goes into 20, uh, 
say six times. And 18. Two. Three goes into 20. Oh, six times. And this is going to keep repeating, and I'm getting bored with this, so I'm going to stop. And the way I would rewrite this, again, this is going to keep going on to infinity. We have better things to do. So I'm going to rewrite this as 1.6 repeat. Okay. Notice I just included when the digit starts is when I would put the bar over all right, let's take a look at this one. Again, it's going to be less than 1 for this one because it's a proper fraction. So I know if I only had 13 out of my 33 pizzas, pieces of um, pizza, I know I don't have the whole pizza. So here we go. 13 divided by 33. I'm going to add your decimal. So 33, how many times does that go into 130? Remember, we're pretending it's 130. So I'm going to estimate. Well, I know that 4 times 30 would be 120. So let me go ahead and try that and see what that does. And remember, we're not going to be lazy mathematicians. We want to be efficient and show our work. So instead of trying to sit there for 5 minutes figuring out in your head, you can just write it down. If you can figure it out in your head, awesome, great. So I'm a very visual. I have to write that down. So then I have 12. Oh, bummer. I went too far. So I know it has to be 3. 33. That's going to give me 99. Okay, so 3. It's going to get 99. Yeah, I have to borrow from this, guys. And then I get 10 minus 9 is 1. And then 12 minus 9 or you could borrow from this guy again, but you just say 12 minus 9 is 3. 33 doesn't go into 31, so i got to add another 0. Okay. So now I'm asking myself, how many times does 33 go into 310? And again, I'm going to estimate. I'm going to take 33 and round it to 30. And then I'm going to take this 310 and make it 300. So I know that I have three sets, even right here, three sets of 33 gives me 99. So that's 100. Another set would give me 200. Another set would give me 300. So let's try what 9 times 33 would be. That's going to be 27, 27, 28, 29. Okay, so 297. And so 9 times 33 is 297. And then I have to borrow from this guy. And that's going to give me 3. And then I'm going to borrow from this guy. And that's going to give me 1. And I have to add another 0. Okay, so 33. Oh, look at that. That's back to what we originally started with. So that's going to be 3. That's going to be 99. I'm going to be left with 31. I'm going to add another 0, bring that down. And I'm going to keep repeating, repeating, repeating. Again, we have other things to do, so we're going to be done. 13 over 33 is the same as 0 0.39 repeating. Okay, remember, put that bar over both of those numbers, 3 and the 9, because that's what's repeating, the 3 and the 9. 3 and the 9, 3 and the 9, 3 and the 9, all the way to infinity. All right, so now we've taken fractions to decimals. Now we have to take decimals to fractions. So to write a fraction as a decimal, use the place value of the last digit of the decimal as the denominator. So here's what I mean by that. Here we have our tenths place. This is not the last digit. Five is the last digit. This is in our hundreds. Remember that TH, hundreds place. So the way I'm going to use that is my denominator is going to be 100 because that's the hundreds place. And then 85 is going to be my numerator. And that's it. So these two are equivalent. This is what it looks like as a decimal. This is what it looks like as a fraction. Okay, so again, Oh, yeah, yeah. What happened with that? 
Okay, so then this one, make sure it goes back to the pen. Again, this is in my tenths place. So I know my denominator has to be 10. Now I'm going to put the 4 over it. And we're done. 0 0.4 is the same as 4 tenths. That's how I would say it properly. And I can also reduce that, divide both the top and the bottom by 2 to get 2 fifths. And those are all the same. All right, and then let's take a look at this one. So I know I'm going to have, it's going to be a mixed number. Okay, I'm going to have that 4. Then I'm going to look at this. Okay, this is in the hundredths place. So again, my denominator is going to be a hundred. And then I put 45. And I'm going to go ahead and simplify that just to practice. So 45 divided by 5 is 9. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Those are all the same. I should even put a little equal in there. Okay, remember, things, numbers can look a little different and have the same value. Just like us. We look a little different, but we all have the same value. All right, so we have a song to help us out. Now write, write this down and we'll sing it in class together. Bear with me, this came from another teacher I found on um, the video online, but for some reason her video is no longer there. So here's how this goes. Decimals to <laughs> fractions, and it's much better if we sing it in class together. So I'm just not gonna sing the whole song. This is the key phrase. You're gonna say it, write it, simplify it. You're going to say it, write it, simplify it. And let me help you out with that, what that means. So say this. How would I say this properly? Oh, 0 0.25? No, that's not the proper way to say a, a decimal. I look at my last place. This is in the hundreds. So I would say this properly, 25 hundredths. So the way I would say this again is 25 hundredths. Notice that TH on the end. So as soon as I say it, 25 hundredths, I know that this is what my fraction looks like. So then I write it, and then I have to simplify it. I simplify it. I know that I, I end in a 5 and a 0. So with our divisibility rules, I know I can divide by 5. So I'm going to divide the top by 5. And I'm going to divide the bottom by 5. So 25 divided by 5 is 5. 100 divided by 5 is 20. Okay. And I think I can keep going some more. I should have just done by 25. But practice. Divided by 5. Divided by 5. Okay. And 5 divided by 5 is 1. 25 divided by 5 is 4. Which makes sense. One fourth, this is a quarter, fourth of a dollar. Okay. So we're going to say it, we're going to write it, and then we're going to simplify it. Okay. Again, I'm not going to go too much on this because I don't want to um, go too far. So here we go. So two, you can leave that two off to the side if you want. This is in the hundredths place. So 35 hundredths. And then I'm going to reduce this. So this is going to be 2. And then if I divide both the top and the bottom by 5, that's going to give me, let's see, so 7 over 20. Now, this is a mixed number, so if I really wanted to write it as a fraction, not a mixed number, I'm going to write it as an improper fraction. So again, make your mad face, you multiply, and then you add. 20 times 2 is 40. 40 plus 7 is 47 over 20. Okay, so again, we say it, rewrite it and then we simplify it. Okay? Even though that's an improper fraction, that's totally okay. 